All right, Monday, March 4th. It's March. Crazy. January was so slow. Took forever. I saw everybody posting all the stuff about how long in January is a year, whatever. February flew by. Just wild. I mean, that was quick. That we're already in March and it's already spring breaky down here, but it's mainly, I'll tell you, it's mainly college kids, okay? Like I can, I can tell it's the college crowd. They're usually the earliest, all right? Nice and quiet, it's not rowdy. I don't see anything going on. I can just tell that there's a lot of packs of college kids kind of walking around Destin and 38 right now. So here we go. These next couple of weeks are gonna to start to fill in. I know Easter's end of the month. Atlanta comes down end of the month. That's gonna be a little bit more of the trigger on what it really feels like during spring break. It's not, the roads aren't bad right now, it's just starting, right? So, look, we've been on a run. Let's call it a run. We've been very consistent with the new listings and very consistent with the amount of pending contracts, right? And we were starting to look at those closings that had been written during the busier than normal January. Are they coming to fruition and actually closing, okay? Things can happen in between, but I started to pay attention to that now. So, listen, this is the time of year where we usually get rolling in terms of like strategy and people are starting to come down and let's get it in the market before they get here. Let's just see what the numbers say as it relates to all of those things and everything that we've been working with before. So here we go, let's dive in. New listings. Eighty two new listings. Eighty two. Now, for those of you that have been watching for a while, if this is your first time, I run this over a 72 hour window. You might be like, Casey, is that a year? No. We take a 72 hour window and we basically say in the week that was, all right? But gang that's been watching, what are we normally at? Can't hear you, but I hope you're saying 50s, sometimes 40s. Last spring, going into summer, we were tilting a little bit around that low 60 mark going into June, if you remember. 82. If somebody wrote me down right now and said, Casey, when's the last time we had 82 during the 72 hour period? I, I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I really have to do, I mean, I can't even think of in the last calendar year from our last uh, year um, hitting 82. So guys, we're talking about, I mean, the reason why I'm acting like this is, as a ratio, we're talking about a 20 listing jump from what's been our norm. That's substantial. Now, here's the next piece. Well, everything else follows suit. Remember, on the under contract, we have been on a run where we were about 50% of the new listings. So we're bringing on 50, but we're taking away 25. So based on this, 82, all of a sudden to keep that ratio going that we've been going for six weeks, six weeks on that ratio, we need 41 pending contracts. So what do we got here? 36, <laughs> 36, listen, that's close. It's honestly closer than I thought it would be. I mean, 36 pendings, if we would have been on our normal schedule of new listings, that would have been a rocket ship. And I feel it. I keep telling you guys this. I think we wrote two or three last week. And look, it's not all across the board. There's some certain segments that are doing things. I will tell you this, a lot of the vacation rentals are about to have their day. I talked to many people, they just haven't been able to get in town yet to come and see it. I got some great listings out there and get a lot of calls on, but people right now wanna get there, okay? They wanna get in town to take a look. So I'm waiting on that. But in the meantime, 82 new listings, but 36 pending properties. That's great. I mean, honestly, when you have such a surge, when you have such a surge in the new listings, I was like thinking we might be like high 20s, low 30, you know, like maybe, but that's pretty good. Now we need 41, so that kicks us out of a ratio. So news flash of this Monday, March 4th, we broke our six week streak. We, this would have been the six week. Okay, of at that 50% ratio. But let's not beat ourselves up too much because we had 82 new listings come on. Let's talk about that more in a minute. Closings, here we go. Told you, 
We're only gonna start paying attention into February, March, closings 33. Casey, why is that a big deal? Because we've been in the teens. Only because our selling cycle is typically 45 to 60 days. And if you've been watching with us, we've been selling pretty strong since the start of January. We're at that 60 day mark and look what's happening. Our closings are almost equal to our pended contracts and the pended contracts are up. So what does that tell us? The deals we wrote in January were closing them. That's what it tells us, okay? That's what it tells us. That's very encouraging, okay? So hold on, I'm gonna get through the numbers and I got some thoughts for you, okay? Let's look at the closing, let's look at the price changes. All right, guys, we got some big numbers today. We're just trying to take this in. Let me just tell you the number and then we'll get to it. Price change is 90, 90 price changes. Gang that's been watching for a while, what are we usually coming in at price changes? 40s to 50s. It's been in line with new listings. It's still, even though we had this shoot up in new listings, we had the price ranges that actually surged above it. Now, I'm not hugely surprised because I talk about this all the time. There's a strategic, excuse me, there is a strategic time to make a price reduction. Now is typically that time. I just thought everybody was doing it earlier because we were in the 50s or so. But to jump up to 90 price change, 90 price changes. That's a big number. So we get two milestone numbers today. Milestone number for new listings, milestone number for uh, price changes. Let's throw in there, that's the most closings that we've had in this little period, probably since May, early fall, let's call it. And I'm not surprised by that because we've been on that six week run up to this point. They're closing over 60 days. I expect the closings to continue. I don't think we'll turn back on the TV next week and see that the closings have fallen off in the teens again. I think we got something going. But let me talk about this. Like, here's what I'm curious about, okay? That is asking a lot of the pending properties of the properties we're writing under contracts to keep pace with 82. And you know my rule, I wanna see it in threes. Is this gonna be one of those anomaly weeks right before spring break where everybody pushes and goes, everybody had the same talking points. Everybody's like, hey, let's just wait until like March. Because that's a conversation point. I got three I'm about to bring on that we took off the market late fall and gonna be bringing back. So I'm gonna be victim. So it might be on next week's. I might be throwing three of them at that number. Okay? A lot of strategy went into that 82. So what I'm thinking is because it was the first of March, let me make this prediction. I don't think the new listings next week are gonna be as high. I think this 82 is gonna be an anomaly. I don't think we can chase it, okay? But I do think that the pendings are gonna be at or higher than the 33 we've got. That's what I'm feeling, okay? Because what I wanna do is I wanna keep chopping away, I wanna keep chopping away at those existing listings, okay? All right? Now buyers, there's great opportunities out there for you. There's 82 that just hit the market, go shop it. Sellers, good news, with your 90 price changes, if you move it into the right place with 33 pendings, you can get your property sold. I think it's good news for everybody, okay? Buyers have options. Sellers are getting agreeable prices. And I will tell you this, I don't see anybody giving anything away right now, okay? You can make strategic plays on price and get your property sold. So I think it's good for everybody. So. I'm excited, like it's interesting, interesting, interesting. I, I wanna see though, if that carries through March, you know, that's gonna be a lot, of, that's gonna, if we can hold that and we don't have a run of inventory, we need those pending properties to stay focused with those new ones. And then that price changes, 90. So I'm excited, I feel it like that. I was not expecting that. I thought we we're gonna be I like, sometimes I like smooth. Like I like predictability. Those are fun times. But here we go. So let's see how we run. Now, if we get on this three-week run, that's a lot of that's a lot of action. Okay? Action brings more action. Okay, so I'm okay with it. Give me action, because that produces more action. This is action. So 
Part of me thinks we might see more action, but I'm thinking that this new listening thing might be hot. Anyway, I'm rambling on, but I'm excited because I like to see new info. I like to see what's going on. I like for it to match kind of what I'm feeling out there and this matches up. So big week. Like I said, we might be bringing three listings on. Um, we got some great property tours coming to you this week and I'm breaking down another rental. I'm going to show you if I say something's a good opportunity, like why is it a good opportunity? So I'm going to bring you that one. We got a great condo list that I'm actually going to break down for you on the rental side and show you why it makes sense and what a unique segment it's in right now. So if we can help with anything, please let us know um, and uh, look forward to talking to you soon.